Health Each Health is a European project. Uh, it is funded by the Framework Program 6. It's a four years project that has started early 2006, uh, which um, aims to build up a European knowledge repository for pediatrics, uh, developing innovative tools for neuro neuro-oncology, cardiology and rheumatology. So, Healthy Child ambitions to um, integrate a lot of medical data uh, ranging from clinical variables to medical imaging to genetics and to combine, integrate all this data into one single repository which is uh, uniform and uh, on which uh, advanced applications can be developed uh, to further uh, help um, physicians to make decisions. So it, it naturally has to face uh, a number of challenges that are uh, common to uh, healthcare in general, uh, where it's got to uh, integrate a lot of data to uh, reduce patient errors, make better health outcomes and, and so forth, and, and also accompany the full digitalization of uh, hospital information systems. However, to do so, uh, it's got to face a number of problems uh, since, as you can imagine, there are uh, disparities in Europe uh, as far as the information systems of hospitals are concerned. Uh, some of them are partially digitalized, others uh, are, but they lack of interoperability. Um, in most cases, there is a lack of connectivity between hospitals. Um, systems are centralized, it's difficult to share large uh, sets of, of data about patients. And all this data, of course, is uh, sensitive, so you have to have mechanisms uh, which uh, ensure security and privacy uh, is, is matched according to the national and uh, European regulations. Healthy Child is pioneering the area by um, adopting uh, early adopting uh, innovative new technologies that could potentially help uh, in covering some of these uh, aspects. And the most significant uh, one is the so-called uh, grid technology, which is uh, one layer above uh, the internet and the web. So the grid is in fact a distributed environment which is based on the web and which makes a number of physical resources uh, available into one virtual uh, space, one environment. So the grid allows uh, putting thousands of computers together into one federated environment that uh, you can further use as kind of a supercomputer. So potentially this grid helps us uh, benefiting of uh, unlimited space for storing large amounts of data, advanced security mechanisms to uh, define how users into that virtual space can uh, access those resources. Instead of having one big computer that is set up in one place that delivers a set of services, we use set of different sets of computers in different places that are glued or federated together into one single environment using the grid uh, technology. The, different, the, the grid technology that we are using is actually one that has been developed and that is being uh, used for analyzing the data that is uh, generated in the context of the Large Hadron Collider to investigate the composition of matters. So in our case, what we do is that we develop what we call a health grid. So a grid of uh, computing resources that are made secure and that uh, conform to privacy regulations such that you can store, share and manipulate uh, patient data cross boundaries. So let's go to the specifics of Healthy Child. Uh, Healthy Child, as I said, is a, is a data integration challenge. Uh, the objective is to connect a number of centers, get prospective data for the different diseases we are studying, integrate all this in one single uniform environment, and then further develop, uh, further, further develop advanced applications on top of that uh, knowledge repository. And this uh, for uh, essentially three major areas, neuro-oncology, cardiology, rheumatology. 
So for each of these, we selected a subset of uh, diseases that are of interest to the medical centers in Oak, and for which we are enrolling real patients, uh, doing real examinations, and putting all the data into the system. The solution, as you can imagine, grid is complex. So what we did uh, very early in the project is to define an approach to deploying uh, the software. And what we did is that we uh, introduced the notion of access points. And in addition, we uh, give to end users a USB stick. That is a physical key to enter the system. So the stick contains an electronic identity that, that uh, represents the user into that virtual space and that uh, based on which the system can uh, define, determine what the access rights are for that particular user onto data, physical resources, applications, and so on. So back to vertical data integration, Healthy Child implements uh, a generic kind of uh, data model that is able to accommodate with different modalities of data, different levels. And that data model makes explicit different pieces of uh, information that actually is a bit complex for clinicians, but that makes the thing really powerful for dealing with uh, whatever data types. So it's got a mechanism, a mechanism with so-called metadata, which allows its um, extension to new uh, data types. Beyond that, it also includes what we call semantics, uh, which is uh, another dimension of the Healthy Child solution. Uh, which allows giving meaning to the, the data, meaning that that is uh, machine processable. So, in other words, you can indicate to that uh, intelligent knowledge repository what the data is about. Um, you can annotate it, you can classify it. So all this uh, is implemented into what we call a, a, an integrated uh, case database. Uh, and this case database uh, is present at each of the clinical centers. So this is the place where the clinical centers enter the data. And once this is in, uh, through the uh, access point, the Healthy Child access point, you have mechanisms that are able to uh, get down to those different databases and show you an integrated or, or federated picture. Once the data is in the system and, and uh, made available through the access points, uh, integrated through the, 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 um, um, this uh, integrated uh, case database, and user or user-facing applications can be made very powerful because they can access the centers live to do uh, advanced browsing on the data, similarity searching, uh, so you can for instance define a set of criteria onto which uh, you, you ask the system to look for uh, clusters of patients uh, being similar. So the, the healthy child access points contain uh, machinery to, um, to support these advanced applications and to solve their, uh, their requests in terms of data access, in terms of uh, um, data treatment, uh, in ter terms of rendering the results and so on. And this you can do from everywhere and the data being stored everywhere. And then you can have more advanced application, uh, applications like uh, the case reasoner from Siemens where uh, you have your patient and you want to eventually find similar ones to have a look at how they were um, diagnosed, treated, how they recovered. So you can ask the system to look for similarities based on certain criteria, on imaging, on clinical variables, on genetics and so on, and then have advanced visualization techniques to show the patient distribution population distribution according to your similarity criteria, and so on.